Now we go on to find out the field due to a uniformly charged infinite plane. And again the same thing happens. Until and unless we do it by the first principle method, we'll never be able to know how difficult it is. Otherwise, right? <clears throat> so, so, so how do I do that? Okay, for that what you'll have to do is go back to a ring, okay? Go back and find the distance, the, the field at a distance r from a ring. Then you form a disk and consider it to be made up of so many rings. And then you, you, you make the radius of that disk infinite. So it becomes a, it becomes a uniformly charged plane sheet right okay the 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 whole whole trouble that you'll have or maybe whole labor that goes on to reaching that stage is 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 a long one right it, it is it is a hell lot of integration involved and when you do it by the gauss's law it will seem to be a kind of a three step solution okay so we'll do the do it by the first principle method first and then go to the gate go to the go to the um, go to the Gauss's law so so for that let us try to find out the field due to a ring okay so by first principle method by first principle method okay and what is the first principle method so 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 we try to find out the field due to a ring okay so field field due to a ring okay the field due to a ring fine So let there be a ring I want to find out the field at a distance r on the axis that is perpendicular to the plane of the ring, right? Fine. So, so as, as you will see that all the points are at the same distance, is it not? They are at the same distance from the ring, right? So what do I do? I, I take a take a small length here. Okay, and the line field density, the line charge density, I'm sorry. Is lambda coulomb per meter. Okay, and due to this, the field is this, the outward normal, the radially outward, right? So, radially outward. Correct, if this is positively charged. If it was negatively charged, it would have been radially inward. But, but the line joining the charge and the point where you have to 
along the line joining the charge and the point where you have to find out the field right now if this is this then a diametrically opposite point a diametrically opposite point will have will have will have a will have the same magnitude same angle is it not it will have the same magnitude same angle so this angle is theta this angle is theta and again what happens the the horizontal components cancel do they so due to this the horizontal component is say something like this okay and the vertical component is this is it not due to this the horizontal component is is this and the vertical component is this okay okay and we see that the horizontal components cancel so it is only the vertical component that remains is it not so i do the same thing i do the same thing maybe if this is this is r and this is say capital r so what happens what happens is is i have a lambda dl charge is it not here the charge is lambda dl what is this distance r square plus r square is it not r square plus r square r is the radius of the circle and r is the distance small r is the distance okay you can call it x square also maybe if it does not suit or so let it be x so it is r square plus x square 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught dq upon r square into into so i am taking only the cos theta term right i am taking only the cos theta term so cos theta is how much so so this is theta so cos theta is base this is the base upon hypotenuse so x upon root over r square plus x square okay Do you see that? This DL, this this DL, see here R is also, though they look look as a variable. Let us let us see that. They look like a variable, but they are not. X is a constant, R is a constant. Because X is a fixed distance at which I am trying to find out the field. R is the radius of the circle, both of them are fixed. You see that? So, so it becomes what? So, this is your DE. You see that? This is your DE. Now, I have two recourses. What? I make it twice. I make it twice, one due to this. But when I, I take the whole, I, I'll, I'll take DL as, the total L as, half the circumference do you understand that no yeah. or, or leave it so i take only the only the vertical component why 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 i i, mean, I, I am asking you at x you are after that you can vary currently it is not a variable no <coughs> let it not be there so dl is the variable then it becomes difficult. If you shift it, it becomes difficult. It will become a, you understand, the distances will change. Though it is not that difficult, but normally we do not do that. Yes, your question was that x is variable. 
नो बट एट अ गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन आई एम सेंग यू फाइंड इट एट टू मीटर्स देन यू पुट एक्स एस टू वेन आई से एक्स एक्स एस थ्री मीटर्स देन यू पुट एक्स एस थ्री बट फॉर अ गिवन केस इट इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट इज नॉट करेंटली फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई मीन टू से दिस इज नॉट अ रनिंग वेरिएबल सो दिस इज वॉट सो सो यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग द वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेंट वाई वाई सी हियर आई नो दैट वेन आई गो देर द हॉरिजोंटल द हॉरिजोंटल कॉम्पोनेट विल कैंसल सो आई नो दैट ओके सो दिस इज योर डी सो ई इज वॉट ई इज वन बाई फोर पाई एप्सल नॉट आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू इन टू एक्स ओके एक्स इन टू लैमडा इन टू डी एल इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रेटेड ओवर द होल रिंग करेक्ट एंड दैट गिव्स यू सो दैट इज लैमडा एक्स अपॉन फोर पाई एप्सल नॉट आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर रिंग I'm saying that I have to. Yes, it is. It is not closed. Why? This this path is not closed. Deal, deal. L. I am not saying the surface is closed. I am saying the curve is closed. This is a, the integral over the the curve lines. This is line integral. So what is that? It is two pi capital R. Is it not? So what is it? This cuts and gives you two, and so you are r x lambda upon r square plus x square to the power three by two. That is your e. And and a uh, two epsilon naught. Yes. So e ring. By two epsilon naught, r square plus x square to the power three by two. Okay. From here, we can find out the find out the. Field due to a disc. Field due to a disc. Fine. So let us try to find that out. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there's some amount of there's some amount of 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 simplification that we could have done here. If we had not, if we had not cut this. So two pi r into lambda would have given you the total charge on the ring. No, two pi. No, that is the total charge on the ring. So two pi r into lambda is equal to charge Q, which is the charge on the ring. Okay. So multiply it by two pi. E ring is equal to R x into I multiplied by two pi two pi R into lambda into x divided by four pi epsilon naught mm -hmm. R square plus x square to the power three by two. Correct. Is that okay? Now two pi r into lambda is the total charge on the ring, so it also gives you Q. This whole thing, no? This whole thing is Q, no? The total length multiplied by charge per unit length, so Q x upon four pi epsilon naught r square plus x square to the power three by two. This is a neater. Neater expression than this. No.
correct do we see that now let us come to a disk so we come to the field due to a disk field due to a disk a disk okay field due to a disk fine now let there be a, a disk of radius r okay disk of say radius capital r with the, with the with the surface charge density as sigma coulomb per meter square no is it not so i'll i'll start writing from here field due to a disk surface charge density is sigma coulomb per meter square okay the sigma coulomb per meter square and what i do i consider this to be composed of so many rings of varying radii so what i do at a distance r small r i take a thickness dr of of the ring right so this thickness is dr correct do we see that now this is capital r okay and this distance remains x 